When we want to classify a group of objects, we group together objects that are similar. In this lesson, we will learn how to classify materials. Materials are classified into groups based on their uses, properties, and types. Classifying materials based on their uses. Examples like wool, cotton, silk, and nylon. All of these materials can be used to make clothing such as coats, scarves, shirts, and pants. And clothing also differs from each other based on their texture. Some are soft and some are rough. Classifying materials based on their properties. For example, plastic. There are many things made from plastic, such as toys, water bottles, ropes, and some kitchen items. And plastics differ from each other based on their hardness. Some plastics are flexible, like ropes, and some are hard, like buckets. We can also classify materials based on their type. There are materials made from wood and materials made from glass. Look at these materials. Table hat, stone, and paper. Let us classify these materials into two categories, hard materials and soft materials. The stone is hard and rough. We will place it in the hard column. The hat is soft and flexible, so we will place it in the soft column. The paper is soft and flexible so we will also put it in the soft column. The table is soft and hard, so we will place it in the hard column and the soft column. It is possible that a material fit into more than one category, meaning that it may have more than one property. Classification is placing materials with similar properties, uses, or types in the same category. In conclusion, we learn how classifying objects is an important manner. It helps us understand materials based on their unique properties and it helps us to know what the common uses are. We find that different objects can be made from the same material and a material can be placed in multiple categories based on its properties.